Hello, all my Facebook people, all my Instagram people, all my YouTube people. How are you doing today? I'd just like to give you a little weekly dose of encouragement. All right, um, <clears throat> this is gonna focus on my surfing progress. Four and a half months ago, it was just a dream. I was on my couch, I was watching YouTube thinking, um, I watched some guys surfing and I thought it looked really great. I watched the movie Point Break with Patrick Swayze and my lunch buddy Keanu Reeves. And um, I just kind of decided to surf. So I took a lot of persistence. I've detailed it in other videos. If you want to watch those, you can scroll down on my page and see those. But I want to bring it to a scriptural point about persistence, which is Matthew 7, 7. It's a guarantee that what you work hard towards, you're going to receive. Here it is. Keep on asking, and you'll receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking, and you'll find. Keep on knocking, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. That means no matter who you are, if you try this practice of perseverance, you will receive. It's not an exclusive club, it's everyone. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who seeks, finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. So, in four and a half months of surfing trials and tribulations, I hit a certain marker, and I don't wanna make more of a big deal about it than it is, but my friend invited me to surf on a really beautiful day with the best conditions of the week with a pro surfer who's on the cover of Surfing Magazine. So, I, I still have a lot farther to go in terms of improving and getting better and even really becoming like a solid intermediate surfer. But I just thought that, I thought that was a good um, marker of how far I've come that a month into my surfing journey, I couldn't even stand up on the board but because I kept persisting and pushing through and doing stuff that didn't always feel wonderful, I finally got to the point that somebody invited me to surf with a pro surfer. Now, we went that day and it was just me and my friend. The pro surfer didn't show up because he had to go deer hunting, but that's not the point. The point is that someone thought in their mind, oh, I shouldn't invite that guy to go surfing with my friend, the pro surfer, because they thought I had reached that level. So, if you need to be encouraged in anything you're trying to do, just go ahead and here it is. This is your encouragement. Go for it. Keep trying. Try harder. Um, you, get, you have a biblical guarantee that anytime you keep on asking, you're going to receive. And anytime you keep on seeking, you're going to find. And anytime you keep on knocking, the door will be open to you. I felt like the door was open to me that day. Uh, I've also been having a lot, of a lot of fun with another buddy of mine. We went surfing the other day. The waves were totally flat. So we paddled out really far and we had these cool goggles and he had some uh, waterproof video cameras. So you're gonna see some excellent video of that coming up. I was in the middle of 10,000, school of 10,000 fish. They were all around me. I mean, it was crazy, it was amazing. And I also took some great video with a, a video, uh, with a thing, a GoPro on my head, strapped to my head of a scampering stingray. It was amazing. So I'm going to post that soon, I promise you. Um, I'm going to continue for anyone who's interested. You parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? So in Matthew 7, 7 and 8, we're talking about you get whatever you keep on persisting for. In 7, 9, Matthew 7, verse 9, we start talking about specificity of the prayer. You specifically get exactly what you ask for. He's saying, you parents, if your children ask for a loaf of bread, do you give them a stone instead? And it's kind of asked like, of course you don't. Or if they ask for a fish, do you give them a snake? Do you know any parent that would do that, be so cruel as to give their child a snake? Of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Heavenly Father give good gifts to those who ask Him? So there's a couple things going on here. He's talking about sinful people giving good gifts to their children. There are famous illustrations of uh, drug lords who are brutal, you know, murdered people, but they're actually very tender towards their children. 
Um, parents, if their kids ask them for something, a lot of times they're tender-hearted towards them and they want to see their children succeed. They want to give their kid a ice cream cone. They want to buy their kid um, the best equipment for their sports in high school or whatever. And we're talking about maybe not the, the um, most moral people, people who are thieves, people who are um, every awful thing you can think of, are often quite willing to give their kids anything that they want. They want to see their kids do the best they can. So this passage is saying, if those awful people are going to hook their kids up with the best stuff, how much more will God hook you up for, with what you want? Yes. And that's all I have to say this week. Everyone have a great week. Enjoy football this weekend, college and pro tomorrow and Monday. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.